again. Welcome to the inside of Ida. Here, let me just turn on some more light. I'm going to turn this little fan on. Just to vent it a little bit in here. And I'm going to close the door so I don't lose my little pups. This is actually running off the cab. But there's a little switch right here that turns it off and on. That turns those off. And that turns it on. I can't leave them on or they're going to drain the front battery. So here's one of my little cushions, my couch that I built. And in here is my power system. So these are my two batteries and they are only 80 amp hours and you can only go down to 50%. So I only have a total of 80 usable amp hours. So when the sun came out first thing this morning, these were fully charged. So I know my 300 watts on top can handle a lot more battery. And then this is my inverter. This converts the power from the battery to 110. And then down here, if you can see that, that's my 12 volt bus bar. So anything that runs off my 12 volt system goes from the battery directly to here and there's fuses. So my diesel heater is wired to this and the LED lights I'm gonna put in will be wired directly to this. And the connection to the lighter plug that's for my fridge is connected to that. I just have these in there because in the winter, there was so much more cold coming through. And if you peek through this hole here, you can see how many, how much usable power I have on that inverter. So it shows how much I'm using and then it shows how much that I have left. And it's doing great right now because it's full sun. Okay, here's the toilet. It's just a Camco. I put the chemicals in there, but they don't always keep up. But I found out that if I put a little bit of eucalyptus oil in there, it doesn't smell. So that's my little homemade medicine cabinet. I had just that tiny bit of space, so I thought I'd fill that up. So that's bathroom. This is bathroom. And then up here, this is a locking cabinet. I have this curtain just so that it gives a little bit of privacy for someone using the washroom. And this is my towels and all my bathroom stuff, painkiller, anything like that. Lots of baby wipes. These guys are great. I have two of them. They're microfiber towels. They dry quickly. They don't take much water to wash. So they're great. And then I just take the privacy curtain in there and close it. Then if you need to use some toilet paper, there's a toilet paper holder right there. So I can sit here, go to the washroom and just open this door for the toilet paper. And then I have that curtain hang down when I want privacy. And in here is just my garbage can and some cleaning supplies. I bought this sink used, I think it was 10 or $15. And I bought these taps new when they were on sale for 35, I believe. I have this only connected to my cold water system. So it always has to be open to the cold side. And then I use my foot pump down here. This is my self priming foot pump. And if you look up here, you can see that's how my water comes out. So I have two hands always available when I'm pumping the water and dry my hands and then I just keep a jug separate for drinking water that is drinking water but this was with my Berkey and then this is dish soap so I can use it for my hands I'm a dish soap and I have it velcroed to the bottom so it doesn't fall down when I'm driving I do want to get a lot more things that compress and expand like that in the future because right now I have tons of paper plates all my bowls and regular plates down here Um, re, um, disposable cups and then all my condiments and spices stuff like that I'll flavor up some water in a minute tea 
And then in here, this is my basic kitchen drawer. So it's got, well, it's got all these plastic utensils right now to use when I don't want to use water, but my fork stoves, tongs, kitchen scissors, ladle, everything like that is in there. My spatula when I barbecue. And then down here, this is all my kitchen stuff, like my cloths that are disposable, my um, oven, another oven mitt, garbage bags, sandwich bags, bigger garbage bags ran underneath. So this kind of goes from bathroom to kitchen to cooking. This I can connect a one pound green bottle underneath behind this cupboard door. So when I pull this out, there's still room to connect that bottle or I could connect it to my propane tank that's outside, but I haven't done that yet. I have some more spices. My instant coffee is there for now. This coffee maker I can use if we're in full sun. My system can handle it then. This little tiny crock pot I can use anytime. This is amazing. Even on the smallest amount of battery power that I have, it's great. If I want to make, and I'm big on the coffee. So if I want to make coffee, I use my coffee press. I have my coffee, my sugar, stuff like that. And I just keep them all handy here because I use them all the time. And then this way, none of this stuff moves when I'm driving. This is ready to roll. And in here underneath my laptop is everything from extra sunglasses to candles to decks of cards to tape to pens. It's kind of my catch all drawer. And then under here for now, I have my brand new toolbox. I have my Mr. Buddy propane heater and I have an extra power bank here. The only thing that really disappointed me with this is the air compressor broke right away. But I can charge with my USB and my 12 volt and my 110. So I just keep it charged as an extra backup just in case something unfortunate was to happen. And then I just keep them there. The Mr. Buddy can be connected to one of those green one pound propane tanks. But what I do when I use it right here, I just set it on the ground and connect it here. This is all the way to my exterior cabinet outside of here. So my propane tank is an vented exterior cabinet. So this is the only part that comes in. I have way more food in here than you would imagine. These slide open. I painted them black. I drilled holes, put doorknobs on there. All the top cupboards open like this. So I set all this shelving. This is original shelving from the ambulance, but I set this one so that it worked for me. There's a lip on every one. So when I open it, food does not come falling out at me. And I'm stockpiled. Like I can make bannock oatmeal, even have some skim milk powder in here. I'd be set for a really long time. And then down here, I have all the dog stuff here and some more food here. And these ones only slide side to side on the lower cabinets. This one has for now, just my extra bedding. It stays there nice. It's easy to reach when I'm in bed if I get cold. And this has my all my toilet paper, some paper towel, and then I have tons of things down here from my bug screens that I put out to um, plastic drop sheets to all, I have tons of butane from my butane stove. I don't have the propane one hooked up right now because I'm still using my butane one. And my butane one is handy because I can use it inside and outside. Right now I'm not going to use the propane because I don't have my roof vents in yet. When my roof vents are in to ventilate properly, then I'll use the stove. Now I have, I have little foam inserts that go in here to block the sun and insulate it. And it insulates it really well in the winter. And this door, this doesn't open. This one will not open from the outside. This will, will not work in and out, but I need to be able to get out for safety. So when I saw Badge and L, Badge put extenders on here. So I just pull it down and I can always get out quick and easy, but nobody can get in. So that's handy. 
These got trimmed down so that the bed could be extended all the way over because there was a handle going down. So I just took them off. I have my blackout curtains here. They work very well. And in the winter, I put Reflectix in between the two layers for extra insulation. When I put a TV in here, it'll probably go in this space here. This whole section like this used to be part of the exterior cabinet, but it was in the way of where I wanted my bed. So badge cut along here to here, that whole corner out. So this is all open now. This is one of my paintings and this is cork board with some material over top so that I can stick the stickers and stuff that I get from people and pictures rather than sticking it all over the ambulance. And this is my bed. This bed is built in here permanently. Um, I'm 5'8 and I can sleep straight if my head stayed up at the top. And if I had someone with me that was a little bit taller, I'll just open this, shove everything to the side and they can stick their feet in there. <laughs> um, up here, I have my fans and a little 200 watt heater and my library. <laughs> I read a lot when I'm on the road. This is emptied out completely. This is for when I have company, they can keep their stuff in that cupboard. That's what that one's designated for. Up here I have a little holder that I keep a flashlight handy when I'm in bed. And I also have my remote for my battery operated lights. So this one, the battery needs to be replaced. But if you turn over there, see those go off and on? Yeah, and I can dim them, brighten them, and I can set a timer for them so they can shut off anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours. And you can just push on them and they'll light up. But I have that remote right handy to me if I need to get some light. I have another clip fan, a battery operated fan here for backup if I need. I actually have two of them, but I have that one up for now. This is my whole wardrobe section. I know it looks like a lot. In the bottom here, I took the shelving out. I'm just going to move the dog dish. I took this shelving out and I put a rod up in here so I can hang my clothes and they're easy to find. I have some purses. I have my cable right here because this door opens outside. So if I can have shore power, I just grab this cord and I'll show you where I do that after. And then in behind there is all my shoes, water shoes, hiking shoes, sandals. Now this, I have to organize a little bit more. I need some shelving like this. This is stuff like bathing suits, socks and underwear, random sweaters and hats and winter gloves and toques. And up here, so in this spot was a light. So I took the light out because I had no ventilation in here other than this door. So now I can put this USB fan here and plug it directly into my charge controller. And it doesn't show any power usage. That's how little it uses. And then I have a little bit of airflow till I get my roof fence in this summer. I'm going to have one that has a fan and one that doesn't. I do have carpet on the floor. This carpet is not securely attached floor. It doesn't move, but if I want to take it out and fully wash it or take it out and not use it anymore, it's easy. But I will tell you this winter, I loved having this on the floor. It made all the difference in the world. The original grab bar is here, which I really like. And then these are old IV holders, which are great for different clip fans to put on there. Otherwise they stay up there and they're not in my way at all. So down here I have just things like I would grab as I randomly want to go outside, right? So whether it's bug spray, sunscreen, and I do keep, hang on, my fire spray here just to be safe, my dustpan and an extra fan. This opens up to where that closet is. So here you see my other shoes and this for if I want to plug into shore power because my shore power was moved to this side. So all I would do is plug that cord into here. If I'm at a campground with power, I just plug it in. 
and there is um, a two-prong plug that the shore power will I can plug appliances into on the inside this little guy I think sometimes I should make it like an outdoor kitchen that pulls out but instead I have all my floaties I have a battery operated pump I have a 12 volt bat pump and I have a foot air pump so when I find water nothing is stopping me from floating in it see I can't open this this handle's completely broken so nobody can break in that way I can own but I can get out and all of the decals that were on here were already removed before there was a very detailed system in here for shore power and it's because it was set up for all the medical equipment and it used to be here but we just put a plate over there for now because I'm only using it on the other side but this is a vent from where the cabinets are and where that propane tank will be for the cook stove and then right here is my diesel tank and close to it is my diesel heater that way when I pull up to a gas station I can heat I can fill up the tank this is all diesel and this is diesel now because in the winter I had a problem with my batteries um, being too cold and I couldn't get the diesel started I was given this generator it's a gas generator this one is 900 watts and I have a battery charger maintainer a battery charger maintainer that I connect this to if I need to charge my batteries and I can use that if there's no Sun I can use that if the vehicle won't start and this is extra gas it's already mixed with oil I will be I will be putting a shelf here and leaving room for this just to keep some of that a little more separate but this is very handy to refill all at once and my uh, diesel tank all the red lights were already taken off now this is behind the kitchen sink so for now this is my gray water that's my fresh water and I just fit these chairs and a shovel in here this summer the plan is to have all of this removed because this is for the ambulance only not the cab so as long as I still have all of my lights and signal lights functioning I don't need all of the rest of this so we're gonna get rid of it now this has a vent here this was the old oxygen cabinet So I need to put some proper shelving in here for now I put this in keeps all my other tools organized my battery maintainer my filters for water again and under here is my propane tank which is off right now and then I just have stuff like my beach umbrella but it tells you vehicle information all on here what type of ambulance it is what year um, it also tells you the weights so after everything was on here I still had almost 4,000 pounds that I could use and still be within the weight for this unit and all these cabinets have lights so when the ambulance is running and I turn that power on I can turn on all the lighting for the exterior cabinets if I'm trying to find something in the dark if I want the power in the back running I turn this on and that's my main power I have my fans my air conditioning my heat here it'll show me how much I'm charging right now how much the engine is charging the batteries it will charge more when it needs more and I have a lot of kilometers on there I have almost half a million kilometers and then all these lights do work except for I don't know how to use anti-theft in the backup one and this was where they would have had one of their units that they took out I do have a radio but it doesn't work because I need an extension on the antenna it only works in the city right now this is my Vita a special thank you to the following channel members